fish, a denture, or a mackerel wave. Well, there's my G on the CSE, Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's a dual and XL guy. Stand by, it's a dual and XL time. Oh my, it's dual and XL time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling XL podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 172, hard-coded VLOOKUP, third argument. All right, so today's question, Lewis from YouTube uh, has a VLOOKUP table and it is working perfectly, right? We choose the item from the list and these two VLOOKUPs get the product and the price, but occasionally, Lewis says, he has to insert a new column. Like over here, he inserted the cost column and because this VLOOKUP is hard-coded, to use column 3 and column 4, we're now getting column 1, 2, 3, the uh, cost is showing up as the product and the supplier is showing up as the price. How can we avoid that whole situation? So here's what I'm going to do, instead of hard coding the number 2 in there, or 3 in this case to get the product, I'm going to say that I want to do a match of this heading right above me, comma, this list of headings up here, I'll press F4 to lock that down, and then comma 0, close that. So now instead of saying, hey, it's in column 3, it will always go search and see where that particular item is. And actually, as I uh, look through this here, I'm going to uh, add a dollar sign to the A, so we're always reaching back to column A, and then we'll copy that over. All right, so exact same results now, but then later on, if we come along and insert some new stuff, Alt I, E, C, enter, and we have our cost. You see that down here, it continues to get the right items. Now, it's essentially getting item four and column five uh, because it's using the match. Let's take a quick look at uh, Formulas, evaluate formula, evaluate, evaluate, right here, that match when we calculate that, see it's returning the number 4 because it's in the 4th position. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. V, lookup, and match. That is absolutely my first reaction to this problem also. I like match, but... Um, Let's do it a different way. I'm going to click over on this sheet right here. So I'm going to delete those. Hey, and instead of VLOOKUP and MATCH, I'm going to use a database function equals D get. Now the D, D sum, D max, D min, D standard deviation, those are database functions. And D get goes and gets something. Hey, the arguments you need a database, and you have to have field names in the first row and then records in subsequent rows. I'm going to lock that with F4, comma. You got to tell this database function which field you want to make a calculation upon. In our case, we're going to get something, and it's got to be exactly like the field names up here. Whoa, I already have that right there, so relative cell reference, comma. Now the criteria. This is often a stickler for when you can actually use DGET. Now notice, I'm going to highlight these two cells and lock it, but it won't work because criteria requires a field name and the criteria below. Close parentheses, control Number enter. Value. No way is it going to work. But guess what? I kind of like ID the field name better than lookup. So if you can do that, boom, I, I do that. Look at that. D get went and did it. And when I copy it to the side, absolutely it gets the price. Now, let's go ahead. Mr. Excel inserted and notice the the for the cell references in the formula update. Here I'm just going to point to the edge and move it. Doom, doom. And when I go down here, notice that expands it too. It's the same as inserting, right? And so did that work? You betcha it worked. Totally, because it's looking up product. The D base function is programmed to look through field names in a proper database. Now I'm going to open up my clipboard here, and I have copied. I'll click in this top cell right here. I copied the data from that first sheet. I'll close the clipboard, and boom, now it updates. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, the database function, D 
get. That is a beautiful function. I used to use that a lot back uh, before pivot tables came around, 1990s. Um, and it uses the field name. What a brilliant trick. That is an awesome, awesome way to go. Uh, point to Mike for remembering D get. All right, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun. It's Dueling Excel time.